1966, written by Ennio Marconi. I'll play it in A minor. <laughs> when I play this song, I don't try to keep it any kind of time. I don't think he does either, but as just long as you get the nine notes, it's more of a feeling song than it is a timing song. I teach it through the A minor part and through the D minor part. I do not teach the good, bad, and ugly part at the end, which is... You can get that lots of other places online. This first uh, intro is these four notes. It's a... Uh, I'll play it. E, A, D, all open, and then a B on the fifth string. And then I do the same thing, just an octave higher. E, A, D, B. And then you also have an E on the first string there. I just play combinations of those notes. Uh, I can't play what they played. I don't try. I do it a little different each time. I just find that if I play a combination of those, it's a good enough intro. <laughs> That is, it's an A minor, playing an A in the bass. I start off with the strings two and three, which is a C and an A, and I don't play anything in the bass, and I move that C and A up to here to play a D and a B, and then I move up to the A minor here. So where I'm hitting the E is the melody. I often play two strings for the melody. I'm just going to mention the top string, but you can always play the string below it. And then when I get the F in the melody here, I also hit the C note on the second string. And then when you go back up to this D and B, that's when I hit my bass again. So the A minor part is like this. Bass. Bass. And then these single notes. to an F chord. So the F chord, I'm not playing a barred F, I'm just playing the four inner strings, two, three, four, and five. Once again, you can play two strings. And then you move to a D chord and play a D as your melody. E chord, hitting the B note as your melody. And then I just sort of play around on these bottom notes of the E chord just to fill in the gap there. So this first line looks like this. starts off the same, two notes, and then you go to a C chord, with this E as your melody, that's F, E, D, C, and then you go to a G chord, and that's a D as your melody, F chord.
So it's the F chord, hitting the C as your melody, D chord, hitting your D, walk down to the A. You can't have this A minor up here. So this whole first A minor part looks like this. like this. This uh, first chord or this first note is an F for the melody, but I'm also playing a D on the second string and moving those both up too. And then when I get up to the fifth fret for the melody, I'm playing a D minor chord which is 5th fret, 1st string, 6th fret, 2nd string, 7th fret, 3rd string, and D in the bass. So it's... And I don't hit my bass until I get to this D minor. Go up to 7 on the 1st string, and then hit these two, just like you did on the way up, and then... Hit them again twice, hitting the D in the bass. Just like we did with the A minor. So like this. And then it's a D, E on the second and first strings. And then you move to a G seventh chord, hitting the F as your melody. to an A chord, hitting the E is your melody, and then you can just play around on the lower A notes of the A chord. So it's like this. your F and D is your melody. This time you go to an F chord up here, which is like a D. Move up to the fifth fret. You can play the four note chord. I usually just play the three. Then the same two on the way down. And then you go to a C chord, hitting the G is your melody. to E, and then a G7, and then the A chord, D, C sharp, and then you finish off on a D note, and you can go up to this D minor up here. So the second half of the D minor run looks like this. And then you go to the good, bad, and ugly part. 
which I'm not gonna teach, so I'll just show you how I do it. There's plenty of places online uh, to teach that.